Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. That one doesn't want to go in there. I think it auto-saved while I was extending it out. And that's why it stopped. And then you over that way. And down here. And that one. And yeah, I'm now, I'm now putting the pipe one, one, uh, one space the other side of the toilet, but that will be fine. And you over here as well, like that. And then the last one is down there. So that one all the way across to there. So now I come out of that screen like that. We've got this bit here, which is building out. And that should extend that concrete wall out as well. We're probably going to end up with prisoners being brought in here. So in order to stop additional prisoners being brought in, we're going to close intake until I've got this all complete. And then we can reassign it all as Supermax and not anybody else. I think that will probably be a good thing. So there's all of those pipes lined up. The pipes, they should connect in without any issues. There should be no problems with that, and that should allow all the water to come up through. And I've already got the... Well, some of it's concrete, and some of it is brick wall. Not sure why I've got such a mixture in there. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Let's, let's uh, zoom out, and we'll go and have a look over here. How are we doing? Are you running in a laggy fashion in any way, shape, or form. This is something that I've been wondering about, is how much of this lag was down to the PC that I'm running, or I was running, and how much was down to the conflict between my recording software. Because this is the only game that I've had an issue like this. Right, it's literally the only game that I've ever had this kind of problem. And right now, I'm not sure. It's it's now reporting that it's running at 10 frames a second. But looking at it here, they seem to be running fairly well. And yes, like seems to be a little bit laggy as I move around, but it's 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 not too bad, is it? I mean, I I don't know because I I always have a job to see whether it's causing any problems while I'm recording. I can only see it afterwards. And I don't want to go on about it too much, but it's all I'm thinking about at the moment, which is not really very helpful to anybody, is it? Uh, we will get rid of that one piece of concrete wall right there. That one can go. So I would go walls and doors over here and a demolish wall. That one can be removed. And then I want to go to flooring here. I want to take sandstone. I want to drop sandstone there. And I want to put grass on that one. I've got... A light there. I mean, really, I want to keep that because I'm possibly going to want a footpath to run further down there. So, yeah, that, that can stay. I've got a guard over there who is running into problems. I guess now I kind of want to wait a little bit and allow them to build in all of these pipes. Right, we've got... I mean, I, I, I don't have that much of an issue with the pipes and everything over here. That does seem to be working all right. Uh, people are running through all of these without any issues. Uh, they're doing the unloading as they should, and then we're getting the new stuff being loaded out. That seems to be working all right as well. Come back over here. And then I've got cells which are still in a construction phase. There's a lot of stuff going on over here, but a lot of that is to do with installing all of the electrical cables and everything like that that I had uh, previously ordered. I have got concrete walls. Uh, concrete, yeah. Uh, not concrete. Uh, brick walls. There's brick walls going on over there. Now we come down here. I need a wall down that side. Let's go with that bit first. Concrete wall. And I put that down. I'm... Right, this is definitely lagging out now. This is definitely causing me some lag. Like, just the way that the cursor is moving around. The workers still seem to be moving about nicely, but this is not going quite according to the master plan. Which is really unfortunate. It does mean that this game seems to be doomed. I might have to get... I either run a completely different recording software just for this game, or 
pack up this. I mean, I'm not planning to run this series very much longer anyway. People were talking about me doing the escape mode, and I did say I was only going to do the escape mode if I can record um, fairly well. And this is not looking like it's going, at least it's not looking to me like it's recording fairly well. This seems to be problematic. I'll let it run for a bit. I'm going to let things catch up over here. I want some of these pipes to be installed before I go putting down more of them. I, I do have plans to put down all of these cells all the way through. Get the whole lot up and running and built. And we've also got to replace all of these walls. Only on that bit, though. This here is properly done in concrete. Well, I had to stop recording because it lagged out so badly that it just kind of uh, all froze up completely. I've now gone back to recording in exactly the same way as I did before. So I have got no way of knowing if it's recording on that horrible, super laggy jumpiness that we have become so accustomed to that I've started to loathe and despise. If it is like it, then we will build our supermax structure and then we will have to say, sadly, that we can no longer do this series. We will move on to Pastures New and find a game that I can actually <laughs> record properly. Which I don't like because I really, really do like this game. I, that This game is a lot of fun. I genuinely do enjoy playing this game, but I can't keep playing it if it's not going to work. Now, let's go back into here. We've switched off intake. So we will go, I'll go up here for a minute and I wanna go to quick build like this. I wanna take a basic cell. I've got concrete wall on that bad boy and that one is gonna go right there. And now we're going to start working our way across with concrete wall. And I will change the brick wall that I've got on the top there in a minute. Yeah, and then swivel that one round, and now we start working through here like this. And I should actually be able to do a copy-paste. So I will, I'll leave that bit like it is there. And then I will go to walls and doors down here, and I'm going to take concrete wall. So I've got some little bits here. But there's only a few patches. I don't really know why it's done it in patches like this. The thing is because I built some of it like this and then I didn't actually complete building it like this, did I? Uh, so you, we will go right the way across like that and then you, I will also do like that and then these walls here, they can be filled in like that and then it's that one there. I think that's everything. Oh no, there's one more over there. Uh, yeah, right, that's all of that bit. So then I want to go here into quick build. I want to do clone, and I want to clone... Oops, I need to right-click to clone. We clone that like that, and I bring that down, and I drop the pattern over just like that. Boom. But no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. That is a horrid, horrid mistake. I want to take light. And I want to put a light at the foot of every bed. That is what we need to do. Now, why have you got no pipes in here? There's, um, I'm hoping that that's a utility issue that we will deal with in a minute. So let's put the lights in here first. Like that. Uh, I will click. Oh. I don't want to undo that. I want to undo this one. I can undo that one by doing that. Okay, that's good. It's a fantastic thing. Then we'll take lights here and at the foot of every bed. I'd, actually, I don't need to go and put the rest of those in because I'll get that when I do these um, those cells there. These along top here, I do need to put these in. And I will also want to put some into the... Uh, into the or into the corridor. I'll also want to have lights in the corridors. I think I do anyway. I mean, maybe I don't. I'm not sure about that. Okay, we we'll go there and utilities. Why have I got no pipe requested for that bit? Did that not like go through or something? I don't know. 
don't have pipe requested, but anyway, I will request some pipe in there. We will make sure that goes in properly. We cannot have no pipe in there. We've got to have pipe. And then there we've got the lights. It is now lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that side as well. So we have got perfect symmetry throughout everything that we're going to build. So I will go quick build in here. I will take a clone in there and I will re reclone that like that. And then I'll bring that down. And that is now giving me light. And then I'll put a new one of these across that side as well. So all I got to do is just copy those bits right the way across there. And look at the stuff that we are buying. This is going to really, really choke up the um, infeed area where we have all, all of our incoming materials. It is really going to cause us issues down there. Basic cell. So that goes right up to the top end because I don't actually have room for a basic cell to go in there properly. Uh, but that's fine. And then I will do more basic cell along here. That clone I just did, please tell me that is... Oh, no, it, it does clone everything, doesn't it? So it's it's cloned the concrete wall. For a minute, I had a, a mild panic that everything was going to be done with brick wall, which means I have to go back over and remove all of the... Um, like, swap all of the brick wall. And that would take a while. Okay, I've got, I've got that bit. I need to go to objects. We need to go to lights. And I need to put lights in the bottom of every bunk, every bed rather, all the way along here, like this. And go over to this side as well, at the bottom of every line, all the way along here, like this. Is that bit off. And then I'm going to do more lights. I'm going to do one in the corridor in front of every cell on the top line here, like this. And then I will deal with lights down the main central corridor in a minute. So I've got that bit there. And then I can go along and do the same along this one. I could clone it, I suppose, but... Uh, like, I don't feel any particular rush for doing the cloning. Right, this central corridor, I think I will come down by one, away from the cell doors. But I'm still going to do it. It's, so it's every third one. Still going to do it in line with every wall. Look how quickly they're coming through and putting these in. Putting the lights in. I mean, it's really good of them. They are really good coming through and doing it like that. You rush in. They throw down all these lights. And we get flooded with light all the way through. It's absolutely wonderful. Just It just it instantly lights up. You get a whole bunch of them come in. They, they put all of them in and then whoosh. Suddenly everything is all lit up and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. Uh, there, see? We just had another lot go along there. Although I think part of that is just like we, we, we don't need this many lights. You only need a few lights and that's enough. So all of these that I'm putting in are actually surplus to requirement and they are not needed at all. I also have a suspicion that we're going to be getting the wrong prisoners over here soon. Which is why I've stopped all intake, because I was a bit concerned that we were suddenly going to get a whole load of low and medium security prisoners turning up. When we don't want them at all, this is all supposed to be dedicated supermax over here, right the way through every single little section of it. Right, that's done. That is finished. I have done it. I have gone and placed every light down. Small pipe, right there onto that toilet. Small pipe all the way through. Yes, everything has now got small pipe. We've got power going all the way through. I go whizzing over this way and power is hardly touched on there at all. I have been told about perimeter patrols around here. I need to set them a lot shorter than what they are at the moment. So that my perimeter patrols, like uh, the dogs and the, the people, the guards... They're not getting anywhere near as tired as they are right now. So patrols here. I've got all these patrols. I don't have anybody over here patrolling. Right, there's 
guards out here. I just don't have anybody actually patrolling right now. So staff in here. I got 40 dog handlers. Where are they all? I got a couple there. Why have I not got my foot? Where are my 40 dog handlers? Let's have a look. I need to go into reports. Get rid of that one. Reports. Staff. I've got workers. I got all of that lot. These are the K9 units here. Zoom in like that. He's on break. He's patrolling. Right, so there's our K9 units. They've had a death. I've been generally ignoring the whole of the rest of the prison, which is, it seems to be a good approach I have found. Just ignore the prison in general and hope that everything is going along nicely and just, just don't don't get too involved with it. It does seem to work. So I've got 82 on Tim Lutheran over there. Uh, no prisoners assigned to eat at this... Oh, that's, uh, assigned at that canteen there. Um, extremely strong, fearless. I've, I've got these guys in here. Nobody there is going to be willing. Uh, nobody willing in there, and i got nobody willing in there at the moment. Maybe we can bring them in and we can use them again a little bit later. That might work. I've now got a capacity of 500,000. Uh, 500, I was going to say 500,000. I've now got a capacity of 500 prisoners. And three in solitary plus three waiting, nine in lockdown. Uh, one requires medical attention and we've got a dead body. That's not too bad. 15,230 for those build bits over there. That's new, that is. I don't remember seeing those bits on there where it's telling us how much each section is going to cost. I like that. That is actually pretty good. I'm really hoping that this is not coming out horribly laggy. I'm really, really hoping that. If I mean, if it is, then yes. I will have to say, sadly, we're going to have to call it a day on the series. We will get a Supermax section up and running, and then I will fairly quickly wrap things up with this, and we will start on something else. I'm thinking for the next... I mean, yes, I am going to be moving on reasonably soon anyway, because I've done over 80 episodes on this now. Um, I'm thinking Oxygen Not Included, because it's been a long time since I played that game, and there's been a lot of changes to it. And thus, uh, uh, you know, basically we're running a settlement. Kind of like this. We are essentially running a settlement in this game. And that is running a settlement as well. So something along the lines of Oxygen Not Included I thought would be a pretty cool one to do. Let me know in the comment section what you think of that. Do, do you think I should be doing some Oxygen Not Included? Or is that not something that you would want to see? Are you not interested in any games like that? Now, I've got 60... So, what's happened? 65 stationed, 30 patrolling, 25 jobs, 52 on break, 23 need a break, 67 staff available. Now, I've gone up to a capacity of 646 prisoners. We're going to go into reports, and we're going to go to grants in here. We're going to see if there's anything else. This is just the carpentry apprenticeship program. I need to build one superior bed, and I will have completed that one as well. That will all be done. Which is actually pretty good. I, I like that idea. I have $130,000 available. This is now all finished in here. There is only one extra bit that I need to do. I'm going to slow that down a second. And I'm going to go to objects in there. Lights. Uh, it's this little cell block section here does not have lights at the foot of every bed. Which they should. All the other cells have got a light bulb in the cell. There. I don't think they actually are supposed to have light bulbs in cells because there's a chance the prisoner could use that to hurt themselves. Um, and we don't really want that, do we? And there is a pipe that needs to be placed in there. So why have I got bits of wall out here that are different to some of the other bits of wall? What is special about those bits of wall? Dunno. Next on the list, I need a yard. So we want to go to... Quick build does not have a yard. 
does it? No, we don't. We don't want that. Um, I, I literally just want walls and doors for this. Now a yard, I could do a perimeter or a barred wall. Build barred wall sections of foundations to create new areas or rooms. You can just build it out like that. New areas or rooms. Cancel that. And I'll bring this one down here. To go that far at least. And then... That massive great big cell block. I could stick another one of them under here. I mean, I suppose I could just move it out over this way. And we could uh, increase the size of that. I'm kind of thinking that I don't need to go out very much more than this. We, we could do it like that. Um, the line of the wall down there. I'm going to take concrete wall up here. I'm going to run that down to there. That is 80 meters exactly. Right? So if I come up from the bottom... And I run up by 80 meters. That's 80 meters there. Right, that takes me to 80 meters. So cancel that wall there and cancel that wall there as well. Because I've got a plan for this. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. This is going to be phenomenally stupid. This is, this is far exceeding anything that I should do in any way, shape or form. We're going to take clone, and I'm going to clone that. I'm going to clone the entire cell block. Every single little bit. Insufficient funds. <laughs> 200,000 to build this, and I don't have the money. Insufficient funds. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is genuinely awesome that we don't have the money to do that. Finance in here. Uh, federal grant 2,000, prisoner grant 79,400, workman wages, exports, shop revenue total minus 100,000 because of um, stuffs and reasons. Valuation, you own 90%. Now, I can't sell no recent deaths. I've had recent deaths, which means that I cannot sell this one. Buy shares, you cannot sell until all of them have been met. Right, so it's not going to allow me to do that until I've got no recent death, so I don't think that's going to change. But if I go back to Grant's on here, that one's still ticking away, and it's not going to change, is it? So, I'm curious whether that will ever change. I doubt it. Wait, you're kidding me. That's all I can have to... I can have two and a half grand. That's it. Your credit rating, 1.1. You can borrow a large sum from the bank. In return, the bank will charge you interest each day, which you must pay out of your cash flow. As you make regular payments, your credit rating will increase and the bank will allow you to borrow more. This is no good. This is absolutely no... Right, I know what I... Because I, I don't want... Right, decrease. Let's pay that back. Um, I think what I need to do is I need to have a loan so that I can be paying money into it. So I will increase there to two and a half thousand. I will keep that loan going. Then what I need to do is I need to go up here to deployment. We want to go staff only. Definitely got staff only on those. I will double check that is, yeah, that is, and that is. Can't change the outside to staff only. But that's all staff only. Which is good. But all of the new patrols that I set up right around the perimeter on there, they're not actually being patrolled. I need a lot more dogs. That's what I need. And staff only in this entire big area as well. Like that. That is all going to be staff only in there. That's going to stop other prisoners coming in here when they shouldn't be. And then I'm going to go supermax only in there. That is all supermax. So they won't be used by anybody else. This is a good thing. If we can keep that as supermax, that would be absolutely wonderful. I've got the barred wall here. That can be demolished. Walls and doors. Demolish walls. Get rid of that. Right. 
take that bit down. So what I can do, in order to increase the money coming in, I've got two things that I can do. We can go back over to here, we can go to intake. Uh, criminally insane is currently closed. Prisoner transfer, that is currently closed as well. I've got one available there. And I'm not going to have that. They will be able to come into the Supermax because I'm pretty sure they will be Supermax. So we'll go here. We'll fill to 646, but we can only take in the low and medium security prisoners. And then get rid of that one and have a look in here. I've got 74 maximum with a capacity for 108. And the criminally insane, I've got 20 capacity for those. 224 current supermax capacity so i'm going to double that up to 448 before i take a single one of them in through the door and at 448 i'm going to have to increase this because this does not have the capacity that we need for all of those so i'm also going to have to double up that so i'm just going to copy and paste this section here and that is all going to run through uh, walls and doors, we will take concrete wall on here, and that one will be changed to concrete wall there. And then I will copy and paste that section, and flip it around, and I'm just going to drop it in underneath, down here. I think that will be fine. Um, I've got a door in here, that door there. And I was told that ought really to be one of those doors. Because a staff door there, dismantle. I don't need to have a staff door there if I've got standard doors on the rest of it. I either have standard doors on all of it or I have staff doors on all of it. And I was thinking have standard doors on the other two so that I can have people assisting in the kitchen. But if I'm using people in the kitchen, then I may as well have this as a standard door. And then the prisoners can go through between the two. And we, we, it, yeah, it'll be fine. So if I put you in there and I drop that door in like that. Then I can come out of here. So that one is currently no capacity. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's ten. Which is eighty people. Because there's eight per table. Eighty. Hundred and sixty. Two hundred and forty. And I got 224. 240 take away 16. That is exactly the right amount. So I think we will get rid of these tables here. Um, excuse me. Flipboard, anatomy model. You know, I, the gravestones. Okay, cell object. The cell object doesn't seem to work right I've never been able to get the cell object to do anything I can dismantle objects like that but the cell object I mean I mean maybe I need to dismantle and then I need to sell them from the storage area maybe that's what I should be doing but I've got that those are now being removed and then we can go up here and we can take standard tables and standard benches as soon as these have been removed speed that up a little bit encourage the workers to come in and I will start putting some of these down like this and that's just going to give us a little bit of extra capacity in this kitchen put that one in and then put that one in as well and then I want to go to a standard bench and I want to put these in here like this there, so that I've got that canteen is a little bit bigger. Just a slightly little bit more capacity in there. And I don't know if there's going to be enough. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.